Hello again, everybody. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's still September 11th, Friday. The markets are closed, at least uh, regular market hours on the eastern coast of the United States at 4 o'clock. So here we are, again, looking at the S&P. And uh, after this great run-up this morning, double top like we talked about this morning and noon, another run-up to that resistance, and then we sold off, tested that support, that became resistance. You can see that very nicely here. Watch this sell-off right into a good support area. This 104.36 mark, this swing low, right where the breakout occurred, coincided beautifully with a 15-minute rising 50MA. That was right in here. If I put a little ellipse on that. There he is. And again, we watched that in the chat room a little bit. Made a lower swing high out of that. Not at all surprising. You can see that more clearly right through here. Again, right where people start getting mangled up, typical resistance. Marched out of that, higher highs, higher lows all day long uh, to kind of show us that. I can draw on these lines, and that's not so bad. And so that trend, again, on the upside is still in context with this high base on today's trading action, albeit a little bit of a chink in the armor here. Uh, and we are marching higher, at least intraday to about uh, not quite the highs. So again, nothing to sneeze at, but still holding up nicely. The trend, if you look at this, was rising all day long. So not, again, the best environment to go long in. Trend Q, uh, after the run up here, sold off and matched the inverse of what the Barkas did latter part of the day rather nicely. The VIX, again, a good tiebreaker, uh, had run up into resistance at the same time the S&P was running into support. Again, we talked about that in the chat room a little bit, uh, based on its high and then barely sold off. So that still remains a little bit weak. Uh, so to my eye, the S&P 500 uh, isn't the most strong right now. However, we'll have to see how the weekend, there's a lot of action that can happen over the weekend. A lot of catalysts can be there and people can get a little bit interested in going one way or the other over the weekend. So we'll see how that unfolds. Uh, if we stopped trading right now, this is nothing more than a run up and a failure to make a new um, green or open bar on the daily chart here. So just again, a little bit of a crack. Uh, we need to either consolidate a rollover anyway to my eye after this multi-bar run-up. Uh, but again, a consolidation right below this mark. If we can hold up over 104, that'd be incredible. Uh, but I'm looking for a higher swing low now out of this 100 plus percent retracement of the last sell-off. Excellent stuff, everybody. Fantastic week. It's been great working with everybody. Uh, I feel like we pushed uh, forward in a lot of different ways, and I'm glad you were part of that. So have a great weekend, and I'll be back with you on Monday.